afternoon this evening, we have the body cam footage of a deadly road rage incident. A beloved husband and son murdered on a local highway. Are police any closer to finding this person? That's a big question tonight. Our Caitlin McCarthy joins us live. Caitlin, are there any updates to this story? Tiffany, it's been a week and Norton police are still not any closer to catching George Jensen's killer. Now, we were promised an update on the case, but today investigators refused to give us one. However, we do have the body camera footage from State Highway Patrol from moments after the shooting. And I want to warn you, this video may be difficult to listen to. Is everybody okay? Uh, we need not breathing. Breathing. I don't know. It's not a weak no, crowd. We believe he's been shot. shot. We are all behind it. You can hear other drivers frantic to save George Jensen's life. He was heading towards Acre on I-76 when a driver opened fire on him. I'm pretty sure he's shot. He lost control of his car and crashed into a cement barrier. Norton police say this was a road rage incident that quickly escalated. Now, eight days later, that driver is still on the run. Investigators aren't releasing any clues on who pulled the trigger to get him off the streets. Heavily redacted video from State Highway Patrol shows troopers trying to resuscitate Jensen. He was taken to the hospital but died. His dad spoke with us about fearing the worst when it comes to gun violence. I knew that eventually that somehow the gun violence in this country was going to affect us directly. I just never knew it was going to be my son. Jensen's family hopes his driver is off the streets soon and held accountable. It makes no sense. So the best thing they could do to honor Gio's life is to do something about the problem and the problem is the guns. Now all police have said is they have numerous leads. So I tried talking to the captain today and I was told he was not available. So in the meantime, a killer is still roaming the streets. Reporting live in Norton, Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News.